Today's tutorial is going to be so much fun. What I'm doing is creating a PowerPoint presentation using Copilot Microsoft 365. And I got three different ways that I'm going to do it. One, I'm going to start from scratch inside of Copilot's. The next version, I'm going to actually use one of the templates that is inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. And then the third option is I'm going to actually create an outline using Copilot, and then I'm going to take that outline and use it to create a PowerPoint. So very fun. PowerPoint is not something that all business professionals thought they would need to use, but it sure does come in handy. And I find myself needing to use PowerPoint presentations all the time, whether it's content creation, because I work with a lot of app developers, or if it's trying to explain something to one of my uh, clients, I want to make sure that it's very clear. So this is really fun to be able to whip out a whole presentation in a matter of minutes. You could always go back and tweak inside of your PowerPoint presentation. In fact, you can even ask Copilot to change an image for you. But we're going to start with a very simple version, which is going to be using Copilot inside of PowerPoint to start from scratch and create a presentation. Here we go. Okay, so from here you can see I am now inside of my PowerPoint. I could actually continue to use PowerPoint from the browser. The other option is I could always pull PowerPoint down into my desktop, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep on working here in the browser because it works just fine. So I'm starting with a fresh presentation. I'm going to go over to the ribbon and select Copilot. And from here, I've got a couple of prompts. I want to create a presentation and I want it to be create a presentation for a unicorn, a unicorn birthday party. I have no clue what it's going to create. I haven't done this before with a unicorn party, but I've used it for other awesome presentations. So we're going to see how it does. I, so Copilot did a phenomenal job. Let's go ahead and look at what does our deck look like? Because it gave us a presentation that has multiple different slides on it. And it's telling me that I actually use Designer, which is another Microsoft tool in order to tweak some of these. So let's play around with that here in a second. But first, let's look at our deck that Copilot created. Welcome to the magical world of unicorns. Super cute. Setting the stage for the unicorn decorations. Transform the space with pastel colors and glitter. Ah, love it. And so it was giving me some ideas about what kind of decorations I should have for this party. Balloons, banners, add a little festive touch, create a DIY unicorn backdrop with balloons and streamers. And now it's telling me that there are some unicorn treats. So let's see, serve unicorn inspired cupcakes with edible glitter, why not? Add unicorn twists to classic party snacks like popcorn. You could even add some food coloring to that popcorn to make some fluttercorn. And then it's giving you a punch idea with some sherbet. So that would be super colorful. The other thing it's saying is, oh, hey, play some games. So pin the horn on the unicorn, little girl dream, and unicorn ring toss, unicorn pinata. So great ideas for some games. Make your own unicorn slime. Ooh, I even like in the background, it's got a cookie. So that's another idea for creating um, not only the slime that it's suggesting, but maybe even have little girls like decorate um, their cookies at a party. And then party favors. So make party favors for all the little kiddos. And so color a little crown, send them home with some stickers, do slopes and glitters. I love what Copilot created. I'm going to leave it exactly as is. I think Copilot did a fantastic job. And then I'm going to switch over into our next demo, which is going to be starting with a Microsoft design template and then asking for Copilot to add to those templates our um, request for our content. See you in a second. Okay, so here's version two. We are gonna actually use a template. So if you already had a PowerPoint slide template and you wanted to use that, you could certainly use your own. In this scenario, I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna use some of the generic ones that Microsoft has in. So we can pull one of these presentation designs. I like the pink one, so I'm going for pink. And it's pulling in some different design ideas, which is great. Okay. So what I want to do here is 
let's use this template to create a presentation. So from Copilot, I'm still gonna click on that same prompt area and I'm gonna say create a presentation using this slide template. And let's make it about animals uh, to create a presentation about, let's go with bunnies. All right, I have no idea what it's gonna create. This is so fun because it's just entertaining to watch Copilot in action, giving these crazy wild prompts. All right, so Copilot was just asking me, oh, if I wanted to replace some of these slides and I said, yes, here we go. It's created some really cute slides. Let's look at, um, of course, it's telling us that we could use designer if we wanted to improve on this deck. All about bunnies. I love it. Um, so breeds of bunnies. Oh my gosh, there's more than 100 breeds of domestic bunnies. Um, all these little lop ears. And then it's telling us about some of the characteristics and traits. I love that it's pulling in different images of bunnies. It's stuck with my theme of these pink slides with pink text. So that's consistent. Bunnies are social animals and can be trained to use a litter box. I know, I used to have one. Um, they like routine and can become stressed if their environment suddenly changes. Uh, bunnies have a unique way of communicating with each other through body language and sounds. They do, they can actually get scared and make these weird screaming sounds. It's quite horrific. Bunny care, oh my gosh, this reminds me of the Velveteen Rabbit. Bunnies need a balanced diet of hay pellets and fresh veggies. Um, Playtime, grooming, to keep down on hairballs. Fun fact, oh, that little bunny is dancing. Um, 360 degree vision, what? Uh, without even turning their heads, that's weird. Uh, they have the powerful legs, we knew that three feet in the air, that's pretty darn high. Bunny conclusion, this is so cute. Bunnies are adorable, yeah, they are. They can make great pets, you can eat them, um, different breeds and proper care, they can live happy long lives. I love everything about this presentation. I wish I wasn't gonna go over to designer and ask it to make some changes, but I have to. Otherwise, what's the point of this tutorial, right? Okay, so let me find one of these. I could actually come over and I could change. So this is an adorable image. I really hate to change it, but let's go back over to our, our um, title slide. So maybe let's ask the designer for some help here. So it could actually pull in the, our theme of the pink. I kind of think this is great. It actually pulls some attention away from the bunny and directs your attention to what are we going to be writing about. If I wanted to come back over inside of Copilot, I could say to Copilot, um, um, date 10, 10, 24 and time 10 a.m. Central Standard Time since I'm in Oklahoma. Well, let's see if it's able to do this because, you know, Oh, Copilot is telling me that it can't. All right, fine. So it looks like if I wanted to add any additional text to this design, I would actually need to come over into inserts and I could put in a little text box right here and I could say my webinar, uh, you know, the date for this webinar is going to be 10, 10, 24. And then the time is going to be 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right, so these are the details that I had to actually go ahead and add by myself. I wasn't able to get Copilot to do it, but I could actually even pull in my fonts if I wanted to apply that um, inside of these other bubbles. So that way it all looks the same and we got the same kind of font. So I grab my for, uh, format painter and then I can even say, oh, that font's huge. Let's downsize it to something a little more reasonable. All right, here we are. I like my presentation. It's adorable. There are some limitations that we're seeing with Copilot. It doesn't understand some of the prompts that I'm asking, but ultimately it did a really nice job of using a template that I picked and staying in theme, it understood that I wanted to create a presentation. It went ahead and grabbed a variety of different facts about bunnies. So that way for my presentation, I had different images and information that I could present. Great job. I like this. I'm actually going to say two thumbs up to Copilot here, one thumb down for not being able to follow some of the prompts that I wanted. We're going to do our third scenario here in a second. We're going to use an outline in order to create a presentation. And then we're going to see that in action too. See you in a second. Okay, so in our third presentation, what I want to do is use Copilot in combination with an outline. So I'm going to actually have Copilot create our outline and then I'm going to use that outline in order to create our PowerPoint presentation. So the first place that I want to begin is going over into Word, asking Copilot to create our outline and then we'll use that to be applied inside of our PowerPoint presentation. Here we go. All right, so I'm inside of my Word doc and the thing that I want to do here is go into my ribbon and I want to say create a presentation, create an a webinar outline. There we go. So 
All right, so I'm going to ask Copilot to create a webinar outline for the legend of the leprechauns. We're having fun today anyway, so let's just stick with that. Okay, so Copilot has came back and it has got an outline for me that I could actually come over here, copy and paste it. And this is telling me that let's do a welcome and probably some introductions to who's speaking, the origins of the legend. So some background about the culture, characteristics of the leprechaun, leprechaun in pop, popular culture, and then some conclusions, and then even a Q and A session. I want to add just a little bit more to this. This is a good jumping off point, but I might go over and do some searching on my own in order to expand on this outline in order to have a good solid presentation. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that outline that we just created and I'm going to apply it to our presentation for the PowerPoint. So inside of Copilot, I can actually say, use one of the props. So create a presentation from a file or I could actually come down here where my characters are and type it in myself. If you're gonna hit that backsplash, you're gonna actually get files that are gonna populate for you. But I'm gonna say, create a presentation from a file, pull in my document that I just created and I'm going to say, create that presentation. All right, so Copilot's came up with a presentation of 14 slides. And so let's go ahead and look at this together. Again, it's gonna tell me that it, um, if I wanted to use designer in order to tweak these, I certainly could. And just right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you the color theme of this presentation is lacking in my eyes. Whenever I'm thinking about leprechauns, I'm thinking that it's playful, it's fun. I wanna be engaging, so use green. Let's do shamrocks, gold, rainbows, give me a leprechaun. So this title slide would be a place that I would first go and start to tweak and edit, but it's also telling me that there are speaker notes in here, which I dig two thumbs up for that. So it's giving me some information about where did it pull from this presentation? That way you'd have a reference point. All right, so on this title slide, one of the other things I can tell you by just first glance of these is I would wanna go ahead and change my template. My template right now looks really plain. So I'm gonna go over to designer, Let's just use a green template, that's perfect. Oh, already I like the looks of this. All right, the legend of the leprechaun. If I came over into designer, that's another uh, Microsoft tool for PowerPoint in order to make something look a little more engaging. I like this already. Here's exactly that shamrock that I was talking about, the pot of gold or a hat and a shamrock, here it is. All right, so let's see, let's keep going. Here is my agenda. If I wanted to clean that agenda up a little bit, ah, uh, let's use our shamrock here. Um, this is probably pulling in some sub bullets that are just not necessary. So I'm going to get rid of that, clean it up. And I don't even think a conclusion is going to be a slide that I would want to have in here. Digging this already. Introduction. I would think this would be our bio slide. So who's going to be our speaker? This image, I would say, replace with whoever's going to be your presenter. You want to be able to give some information as to who that person is. Uh, origins of the legend. I'm liking this. So some background into the Irish folklore. If I wanted to pull in designer here, maybe I could get, ah, I'm seeing some roots over here. I'm seeing some shamrocks. Um, again, our hat usage. I like all of these. So I think Copilot did a really nice job of giving me the slide and the information that I might want to present, but designer is doing a better job of actually pulling in some imagery. So because we're talking about roots, here's a tree and roots kind of works together. All right, let's see. What else am I going to go ahead and talk about? So physical characteristics. Ooh, I like the way that there's some usage here in designer. So this is talking about um, wearing coat and hat. We always see leprechauns that way. Mischief, they're up to no good. There's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You could tweak any of this information on here. Um, let's see, personality traits. Ooh, I like, again, we've got some imagery. We've got a leprechaun. I'm not sure that um, he, <laughs> he looks like somebody who you would want to go hang out with at a pub, probably uh, up to no good, beloved, and up to some mischievous behaviors. <laughs> And then let's see, our leprechaun and our pot of gold. I like the usage of our imagery here. Again, we've got more information than maybe what you want. So anytime that I see that much on a slide, I condense it. You could go through here and you could actually start to remove what is additional that you don't want. So um, some editing to be desired here. Ah, I love that we're pulling in some imagery, um, but I also think it'd be nice to have a bit of a timeline here. So, you know, one of the things that you might want to do is look at what could you pull in that might look more like a timeline to give you some ideas of what has happened. You might even want to go over to Smart Art, drop in a timeline. Uh, that way you can actually see the progression of the modern folklore around leprechauns. Where did it start? Uh, this is kind of giving us some background as to the evolution. And then some misconceptions. I like the usage of our shamrocks here. So let's pull in our shamrocks. Let's come back over here. Here's our leprechaun. And again, with our pot of gold and pull me back over into Copilot. But if I wanted to use designer, I could certainly, you know, pull back in some of our green usage. 
and then leprechaun uh, myth busting here. So leprechauns are always male. We've got a uh, leprechaun female who's drinking green beer. I want to keep the image of the green beer. So that might be something that you want to change the layout just a little bit to make sure that you're including uh, that green beverage. And then always dressed in green. I think this is actually a good pull in because this is something that we often hear as leprechauns are dressed in green. I think that goes back to Irish culture having a lot of green. So I think that that's where that ties back, but you might actually want to go and look at it. Why do we see leprechauns dressed in green when originally they were dressed in red? So maybe you want to go and do a little bit more research so that we could pull that into your presentation. Conclusion, uh, I like that this is pulling in a book, but I'm going to say I would change this book image because I want it to be old. When I think of folklores, I think of old books. So I might actually go back over into uh, Copilot and I might say, add an image of an old book. Let's see what we get. All right, so it's telling me that this is our old book pages. All right, so it wanted to keep that original imagery, but it gave me some book pages here. You know, you might wanna play with this just a little bit in order to kind of get the imagery that you're wanting. Again, you might go over to designer or you might pull in inserts some pictures and use off of the web. Maybe you've got some specific pictures that you wanna use, but I would change that just a little bit. And then you've got Q and A. Oh my gosh, they don't look like leprechauns at all to me. I almost want like a whole crew of leprechauns with their hands up. So I would change this imagery as well. And I might pull in something that would be a little more related to a leprechaun. Um, or you could even say, add an image of a rainbow and pot of gold. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, much happier for that. So allow time for the audience. I don't really need that prompt there, but I do like this Q&A. So I'm gonna say when it comes to using Copilot in combination with designer, I'm able to get more spot on with the direction of my slides. So I like where we went with this deck. I'm gonna go ahead and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so Copilot did a really nice job of creating PowerPoints in three different scenarios. Remember the first one, we started from scratch. We didn't have an outline. We just added some notes into Copilot inside of a PowerPoint presentation and off it created our presentation for our unicorn birthday party. Love that one. And then in our second scenario, we actually wanted to pull in a template, whether that's your branded template or you're just wanting to use one of the provided templates from um, PowerPoint. We used our pink because we wanted to talk about bunnies. So with our bunny combination, I thought the imagery was beautiful. I thought that the information that was provided was great. Talked about, you know, bunnies actually making some noise and um, that can be pets. So created some good information from scratch and put that inside of a template for us. In our third scenario, that was the one that was a little more tricky. So I think that part of what Copilot struggled with was, what do you mean Leprechaun? Where does that fit? That's not quite completely playful, but it's actually not completely business. So I think that Copilot struggled with the imagery there just a bit, but that was okay because I was able to create that outline, put that into our PowerPoint presentation, and then have Copilot spit out a deck for us that then we actually added on designer in order to make sure that we were getting some of the imagery that we liked. We changed our template on the fly, used something green. So ultimately I felt like we landed in a really good spot with that final presentation. And it was the one that had the most. In all three cases, I think that you're gonna wanna go through and you're gonna wanna edit those slides. But if you're like me, I need a starting off point. I want somewhere to just leap from. And I think that that Copilot did more than just gave us a place to leap from. It actually gave us some slide ideas, some content. And then from there, we can fine tune it. We can make sure that our tone of voice is being included. I like it. I would actually say as far as Copilot inside of PowerPoint, this has been my favorite tool so far for creating PowerPoint presentations. There's other ones out there. I'm gonna give this one a three star. So well done. I liked that it tied into my Microsoft environment, was able to pull in an existing document. Good job there. Make sure to stay tuned so that way you can be part of the next Microsoft 365 Copilot tutorial by subscribing here. See you soon, guys.